Today I'm going to be walking you through how to use our new halation tool in Film Convert Nitrate. We're going to explore what each control does so you can easily, and more importantly, authentically emulate halation in your digital footage. Make sure you stick around until the end to see the plugin in action, so you can see with your own eyes just how good it is. By the way, if you're not 100% sure what halation is, we made a video about it that explains everything. You can find it on the Film Convert YouTube channel. To get the halation controls added to your Film Convert Nitrate plugin, you can download the latest version of Film Convert Nitrate from our website. If you're already familiar with Film Convert Nitrate, you'll notice a new halation drop down menu will be added to your plugin. You can find this located below the grain settings. We've split the controls into two different user-friendly sections. The first is the primary controls. These can be used to make some basic edits to the halation effect. But if you want to finesse a look even further, we have more additional settings, which can be revealed by selecting the drop-down menu. You can apply halation by selecting the Enable checkbox. This is selected as standard, but if you want to turn halation off, simply uncheck the box. Now, let's dive straight into the controls. The View Halation Alone checkbox brings up a halation map. This visualizes where the halation is occurring in your image. The sensitivity slider determines which areas of the image are bright enough to cause halation. As you take the slider higher, halation will start to show on the midtones as well as the highlights. If you take the slider down lower, halation will only show on the brightest highlights. The strength slider determines how much halation is blended into the image. Essentially, this setting allows you to control how strong the effect is. Take the slider higher for a more intense effect, or lower for a subtle effect. The hue slider will allow you to shift the colour of the effect. You can play around with this setting to change the shade of the halation. We also have the green channel slider, which allows for further control of the colour, which we'll look at later. The Soften slider allows you to determine how smooth the effect is. The higher you take the slider, the softer and more spread out the halation becomes. But if you're after a sharper, more defined edge to the halation, keep this slider lower. Here's a quick tip. While you're grading, if you need a hint for what any of the settings do, simply hover the cursor over a control, and a box will appear explaining what the control does. It's worth noting that the default controls will give you an authentic look straight out of the box. But of course, each control will allow you to dial in the look you're after with precision. Now let's explore the additional settings. With the highlight slider, you can control the halation response from black up to the brightest highlights. If you want to see more halation covering the highlights, you can increase this setting. When set to zero, you will only be able to see halation show on any shadows surrounding the bright highlights. With the green channel slider, you can control how much the green channel is involved with the halation effect. This will create a brighter effect that will also affect the colour of the halation. If you're after a classic orange halation effect, try increasing this control. With the brightness slider, you can control the brightness of the halation effect. You can also use this setting to determine whether the halation adds only to the chroma of the image, or the luma too. The saturation slider controls how vivid the halation effect is. You can also turn this setting down to zero for a completely desaturated look, giving you a simple bloom effect. The spread slider will allow you to widen the halation out. Turn this control up if you want to have an effect that spreads out further. You'll notice this control works similarly to the soften slider, but it keeps the edge of the halation without adding a softening effect. As standard, the boost slider is set to zero, and in many cases you may not need to use it. However, if you've set the sensitivity slider very low, by adding some boosts you can create a stronger effect in the areas where halation is still present. It actually does the same as the strength slider we saw earlier, but has an even stronger contribution. The final setting is the quality control. You shouldn't generally need to use this setting, however, if you see any artifacts in your footage, you can change from the default performance setting to either balanced or quality. 
As with the other controls in Film Convert Nitrate, you can keyframe each setting using the diamond next to each control. You can also reset each setting to the default value by selecting the reset arrows found on the right. To give you an idea of how effective our Halation plugin actually is, I've got two clips to grade, one shot during the day and one shot at night. We'll start with the daytime shot. For this example, we're going to create an intense effect. To help guide us, we're going to take inspiration from this shot from the 2018 film We the Animals, which was shot on film, so all that beautiful halation is as authentic as it comes. This is how our shot looks with Film Convert Nitrate applied. And this is a shot with halation enabled with the default settings. It looks really nice straight off the bat, but the effect is currently too mild and muted. To help us create a similar effect to the reference shot, we need to turn the intensity up a little. We'll start by increasing the sensitivity. This will allow the effect to show in more areas of the image. We could also add some strength to accentuate the effect even further, but I think we'll leave this as is. We'll also leave the hue, soften, and highlight sliders as they are too. To help replicate the golden orange colour we saw in the reference shot, we'll need to increase the green channel slider by quite a bit. That looks pretty good. Similar to the reference shot, bright light from the sun is penetrating through the tree, which is helping to create a really bright effect. But we're going to take this even further by adding some brightness to the halation. Finally, we'll increase the saturation slider to help the effect pop even more. Here's the final result. And just to recap, here's the shot without halation. Here it is with the default settings. And here it is with our edits. For this nighttime shot, we're going to create a more subtle case of halation. This time taking inspiration from this shot from the 2012 film The Cabin in the Woods. It was shot on 35mm film, so the red glow you can see surrounding the light bulb is a real case of halation. Here's what our shot looks like with Film Convert Nitrate applied, and here's the shot with halation enabled with the default settings. This time, to get the subtle effect we're after, we'll have to scale the effect back a little. To start with, we're going to bring down the sensitivity. If you look closely, we currently have halation showing on the dark shadows surrounding the border of the Hansel and Gretel sign. If we turn the halation map on and bring the sensitivity down, you can see how the halation disappears from this area, but remains on the light bulbs, which is exactly what we want. Next, we'll decrease the strength a little to help craft that subtle effect we're after. I'm also going to decrease the hue just slightly to match the reference shot. We'll also add some softness to the effect. Right, we're almost there. We just need to make one quick alteration to the additional settings to finesse the effect even further. We'll bring down the saturation slider ever so slightly to help create the delicate effect we're after. Here's the final result. And just to recap again, here's the shot without halation. Here it is with the default settings. And here it is with our edits. That's our new Halation plugin. If you like what you see and you haven't scored yourself a copy yet, you can get your hands on it via the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.